Hello everyone, my name is Bradley Clooney. I'm an ArcSight software developer and I'm going to showcase how the dashboards help us uh, resolve real life attacks. The Mitre ICS dashboards show very interesting information that help us get in track of the ongoing attacks. When we first come into the dashboard, we will see a lot of alerts that are being triggered and most of them have a 10 of priority. We're going to notice that there are some new IPs that have popped up and are being targeted by ICS techniques. We need to take a closer look at it. The first IP we're going to notice has only a couple of triggers. These are very suspicious triggers. These are from a rover docky that was detected. Rover docky is a USB hacking tool that allows the attackers to deploy scripts in a portable way since they only have to carry a USB stick, plug it into any computer, and run away. We noticed that the machine that was um, infected with the rubber ducky is now starting to make connections to other machines. And at the same time, it found that there is a very common protocol that is being used that is SMB, that is used in ICS infrastructures nowadays this leads to the rover docky taking advantage of that protocol and making a lateral movement to that other machine so from the infected machine from the rover dock is now jumping into other um, devices in the same network now that we know that there is some lateral movement on the network we can use the relationship dashboard to really see what devices are involved in the exploit and what techniques is being used um, to exploit these different devices. So we can see a whole look of the ta attacker and target IP relations. And also we can see the countries where the attack is coming from. We can even drill down into these events to see more information about the devices involved. We can see uh, the top targeted IPs um, and also we can see the top attacker countries um, in a more in, in a more uh, visual way. With the collected information that we have we can start correlating all of uh, that information and we can see that the infected machine is now also making connection to other uh, devices on the network as uh, it has started a twin cat dos attack to other devices on the network this can be to uh, affect the availability of the devices also we can see that that infected machine is now making connections to outside to other countries, to the US, and also to China, uh, to the same house name. This can be a very common behavior for malware, where it starts uh, getting command and control from the attacker, or even it gets to downloading new tools to expand the attack surface, making, making this attack even harder to stop. Coming back to the relationship dashboard, we can drill down on the countries as well and we can see the relationship of uh, the countries that were involved we get to see a visual representation of the attack flow uh, where it begin from the source and where are the targeted uh, located at in this case this is uh, us canada and as we talked about china as well Another of the cool resources we have to map everything out is the MITRE activity. With it, we can look at the matrix and we can take a look at every single technique that is being triggered and every single sub-technique. We can even zoom in and see when was the days of activity or the rule that have been triggered. And this is all for the demo.